Simon Mitchell, founder of Photo Enterprise, and I'm with uh, John Bentley of uh, The Gadget Show. So, Hello, hello. Um, so, you're at the photography show, have you found anything of interest? Oh, lots of interest. I mean, I, I think one of the greatest things uh, about uh, a show like this is not only the, uh, the amazing products on the stands, but also um, all the theatres and uh, uh, opportunities to hear people speak. I, I've just been to a talk with Martin Parr, where he's uh, sort of talked about uh, his life in photography and all of his interest in uh, various different genres of uh, of uh, creativity, the uh, various um, uh, his collection of photo books, things are like utterly fascinating. Uh, earlier, I went uh, went to talk about um, um, sort of the convergence between um, video photography and stills photography, and um, and all the exciting sort of different formats in between. That that was good. And obviously, it's great to see the products on the stands as well. I mean, Black Magic's new uh, camera, uh, video camera, that was uh, particularly good. Um, to look at, also the robotic control systems on the uh, Nikon stand are quite interesting as well. Fantastic. Do you think you'll be uh, making any purchases uh, this time? Um, oh, I didn't. I need to think. Of, there's always so much to get round. I never really have time to, to go into the serious business of uh, making purchases, which I, I'm sure lots of people do, though. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So, what would you say are the highlights for you uh, of the show then? Uh, well, well, certainly the. Um, uh, the, the, the talks in the theatre areas are, are great highlights. Other, other highlights would be the um, Blackmagic uh, as a video camera. I particularly enjoyed that. The Nikon robotic system that was uh, that was good to look at. Um, um, those are sort of two a few highlights for me. And uh, are you? Might you class yourself as much of a, uh, a photographer, hobby photographer? Ooh, well, I, did, I, I mean, I, I used to. I certainly did a lot of photography way back when, when I was at school. I used to really enjoy all the whole dark room side of it and all that sort of thing. And um, I lapsed a bit uh, in the 80s and 90s, but I sort of started again uh, in the 21st century, just on the cusp of uh, sort of digital coming in. And uh, and I, I do like to do a bit of quite quite quite, quite a bit of photography, mainly often because I do a bit of journalism in my spare time. It's good to have the. They always ask for pictures to go with your articles, so I, I do a bit uh, do, do a bit that way. Not uh, not necessarily to the highest of standards, but I do enjoy it. I mean, it, uh, that's not to say that one day in the future one couldn't set one. I mean, I'd really love to actually set myself a sort of photo project of some sort. I'm not sure it would be yet. And, and what do you see as uh, the the future of photography? Well, I mean, the future of photography seems to expand all the time. I mean, there seems to be more, more and more people taking more and more pictures at all all sort of levels of photography, and also the fascinating ways in which um, it's it's sort of going beyond the the, the, the stills photographs. So you get sort of, and I saw earlier on today uh, somebody who did a lot of um, uh, portraiture with slow moving stills, for example, which is a, again a sort of example of stretching the boundaries of what one thinks a photograph is. Fantastic, yeah. And uh, do you see the uh, possibly the death knell of uh, SLRs now that uh, mobile phone technology is becoming so good? Uh, I don't. I don't think. I don't think there's a competition between digital SLRs and mobile phones so much. I think they're more just sort of complementary things. I think it's more uh, whether with advances in electronic viewfinders you can get uh, a, a similar feeling of involvement with yourself, a similar feeling of control and responsiveness on, on an electronic viewfinder camera that can maybe be a little bit lighter um, and uh, uh, just have with slightly smaller lenses that will just mean you have your camera with you more often and that the, you can do more with it more often and get the, the photos you want easier, more easily. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much and, uh, yeah, pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.